Hello, welcome to How to Triathlon. In this video, I'll show you how to um, connect your uh, trail speed DI2 units with the eTube um, app on the on on your mobile phone. In this case, it's an iPhone. So, um, so what I have here is their rear derailleur, uh, front derailleur, um, the battery and also the um, the TT switches, which I'll use to test the shifters. So let me fire up the, um, the app and see what we can do. So here I started the eTube app on my iPhone. And uh, typically when the app starts, it will just start it, um, bringing some configuration. I remember the first time I started this app, it takes about a minute to, um, to update the, the app and hopefully we'll be faster this time. Okay, so I think probably just a couple more seconds. All right, so once it's done, I haven't registered my unit yet, so I'm just going to press a plus here and, to, and then I'm going to click on how to connect units to see how to do it. And uh, here it's bring up the instruction. So I'm going to click on uh, my derailleur, which is RD8150. Um, and basically what it says is that I'm, I'm just going to hold the button on the rear derailleur until uh, I see a flashing um, blue light from the LED. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm just holding the button now and it's now flashing blue. So I'm going back and okay, it looks like it's picking up, it has picked up the unit and it says connecting to it. Uh, through Bluetooth. And I'll just change my pass key later. Okay, so uh, okay, so it looks like it recognizes uh, all the units that I have, which is the uh, front and rear derailleur, um, the TT shifters, and also the battery. Um, so I'm just going to click on skip registration here. I'll do that later on. And then let's see what we have. Okay, so there's some instructions here on what we can do. Um, and okay, so just like the Windows app, there is the update screen, which I'm showing here. And since, you know, all the firmware that I have is already at the latest version, um, I'm fine here. And, and one thing to be note here is that the TT shifters, right? Right now you can see that they're on version 3.3.0. Um, but if you bought some earlier ones um, that are not compatible with the 12 speed unit, unit, you won't be able to update the firmware here because in fact, they as far as I know, they would not even show up or connect uh, here. So you would actually need to use the um, the Windows app and the PCE02 USB unit to upgrade the firmware on the TT shifter before you can use it in the uh, through Bluetooth on the iPhone app. Um, so let's see what else we have here. Um, I think right now it's, it's still showing on the firmware version, so I'm good. So let me um, click on a different tab. Okay, so in the customize screen, it allows me to set up the configuration, right? Um, so um, very similar to what you know I saw on the Windows app. So we'll come back and look into it a little bit later because I really want to look at maintenance. Um, so let's take a look there. And over here, okay, so the options are quite limited. Um, looks like I can see the battery status. I can click on the gear usage uh, because it hasn't ever been used. So everything is 0% here to see how am I using my gear, I guess, to determine when to replace the cassette. And here, uh, I'm just going to play around with this to adjust the front derailleur. And uh, since it's not hooked up to a bike, um, there's not much I can do here, but let's just see what I can try. Okay, so I'm just going to, um, click start here okay so it looks like i need to move the crank which I, which i'm not able to do um, but let's just go along and uh, see what happens okay so uh, all right so it looks like you can 
make a micro adjustment um, on the units, uh, which I'm not going to do here. And I'm going to click next. And here, um, I'm actually pressing the TT shifter up and down, but I'm not seeing anything reflected up here. So, um, so I'm not sure what's going on, but uh, I'll probably test that later on the, um, have another video test this out properly in the Windows unit, um, on, the, on the Windows app. And uh, let's see what happens if I click start again. Okay, so it looks like, you know, if I have it on the crank, I'll be turning the crank again, and then it will be, um, you know, there will be more staff. Looks like we are staff three out of six at this point. So I'm just going to stop it because um, I don't really need to um, test, uh, test further. And I'm back at the main configuration screen now. So, um, I think one thing I noticed is that the options are rather limited. I don't see a test function that I really like on the Windows app, right? Which will allow me to test um, different kind of, um, um, all basically each unit by itself. Uh, I just click on the settings button. Looks like there's not much you can set over there. Okay, so I'm going back to the customized screen to see what we can do. And I'm pressing the buttons on the TT uh, shifter, but it's not like nothing is really um, changing here. So um, I was hoping that, you know, there would be like the, the shifter would light up when I press on it. Uh, but it looks like I, all I were able to do is to click on, click on the, um, the rear shift down or rear shift up and select whether I want it to shift up or down. And for the multi shift, yeah, pretty standard stuff. I think just like what we see on the Windows app on how you would configure the multi shift and also the um, the synchronized uh, shift. Yeah, just basically your cassette configuration here. Okay, so um, that's all I have uh, for this video. Uh, so it looks like this is convenient, right? If you don't have the PCE O2 unit and you know just wanted to do some basic like firmware update or configuration on uh, on your DI2 units. Um, but I think one big downside of this app is, is the lack of the testing function that I see on the Windows app. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day.